Okay. Good morning. <clears throat> I am <clears throat> okay. I'm here. <laughs> I am Juan Carlos Paniagua, and I will talk to you the second part of this subject on foundation on quantum mechanics. Uh, I'm sorry for the delay, but it's my first time with these devices and uh, um, something needed some adjustment, but I, I think it will work. I hope that the sound is better than the days before. We have changed the system. And uh, well, uh, surely <laughs> in the first class, uh, if you have any problem, I will try to to, to read your messages. And uh, with the help of the students here, I, I hope everything will be OK. Well. <clears throat> Um, I'm going to make a review of the things you have already learned in the first part of this uh, subject, and why. Hmm? Why, why to, to, to begin again with, with, with the, same, the same stories. But the question is that quantum mechanics is a really complicated matter. Hmm? Um, it is not easy to learn quantum mechanics by a logical order where you begin with the postulates and then you proceed to apply and to demonstrate theorems and to make applications. The question is that quantum mechanics has two important difficulties. First, you are dealing with very small systems, with tiny objects that you cannot directly see. Second, you need mathematical tools that are quite abstract, that are not really intuitive. And the question is that in order to grasp the, the, the physical meaning of, the, of those tools, you need some examples, you need to, 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 uh, to use uh, physical problems in order to illustrate all this. And so the only way to, to, to really understand quantum mechanics is to, to learn a first overview of the subject, a, a very elementary vision of the subject, for instance, to learn about uh, molecular orbitals without knowing very well which is the origin of those orbitals, then to learn a little more about Schrodinger equation and uh, how to calculate these uh, functions, then to learn the postulates and maybe at the end to have a logical exposition of all the theory from the postulates to the end. This is very different, for instance, from thermodynamics. In thermodynamics, you can learn the postulates, the principles of thermodynamics, and, and then deduce everything, because you can directly illustrate the postulates with very normal, with very quotidian examples. But quantum mechanics is really very different. And that's why. Uh, we have decided to make these subjects in two parts. First, with Manuel, you have learned the tools. You have maybe you have learned the, the important things, how to use it, how to work with it, and then that you know many examples, many systems. You have treated uh, many cases. Then we will make a review of the whole theory, putting in a general context this version of the theory and um, taking profit of the examples you already know to illustrate and the, the, the postulates, the, the concepts, and to, and to grasp the physical meaning of everything. Well, <clears throat> uh, let's see if we can see the document. Um, I will upload. Uh, this morning, at the end, I will up upload the PDF of the presentation, but I think you can already take it from the platform, uh, Adobe platform. I'm not really sure because I don't master it, but if not, I will put it in the Moodle platform. 